Hey, Divi Nation, welcome to this special installment of our ongoing Divi Design Initiative. And as a part of our Divi 4.0 celebration, we've been giving back to you, the Divi community, by providing you with six awesome Divi theme builder packs you can use on your own website right away. Today, we're sharing with you our fourth Divi theme builder pack, which will allow you to get your brand new design website up and running in no time. So if you're not an Elegant Themes member, please check out the video description for some links to take advantage of our special 10% discount on Elegant Themes memberships. Now let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at this fourth Divi theme builder pack and how to use it. So here's the fourth Divi theme builder pack. Uh, as you can see up at the top, we have our global header, and this comes with a nice big contact us button, some social sharing icons here at the top. And of course, here's your menu and your logo. Scroll down, you'll see your global footer here. Uh, comes with a nice call to action, subscribe form. Uh, this is actually the post template for all of your your blog posts. So as you can see, there's my post title, categories, and so on, featured image, post content, related posts, comments. And on the product page template, it's a template for all of your products. Got related products there, reviews. And here's the category page template. and the 404 page template. Now that you get an idea of what the design of this theme builder pack looks like, let's jump in and I'll show you how to download the theme builder files and then import them on your own website. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the blog post featuring this fourth theme builder pack. And then to download the pack, you'll simply enter your email address and click download. This button will pop up and you'll click the download the theme builder pack. Once that has been downloaded to your computer, you're gonna open the file and you'll see the collection of all of the JSON files included in the Divi theme builder pack folder here. You're gonna to wanna to select the one that says Divi or theme builder pack for all, the one that says all, that will import all of these individual templates at once. So now that my file is ready to go, let's jump back into our WordPress dashboard. So from the WordPress dashboard, you're gonna to wanna to go to Divi Theme Builder. And then from the Theme Builder interface, you're gonna to want to select the portability icon up here at the top right. This will give you the option to export or import your file. And we're gonna select Import. And we're going to choose the file. There's my theme builder pack for all that JSON file. Then I have the option to override the default website template. And I have the option to allow the import to override existing assignments. Since we don't have any Divi theme builder templates in place on this site, I'm gonna go ahead and leave those options as they are and click import Divi theme builder templates. And with that simple click, all of our templates have been imported into our website. In the default website template here on the top left, you'll see that we have a global header and a global footer. To edit the global header or the global footer, go ahead and click this edit icon. And as you can see, this is my global header template layout editor here, where I can use the Divi Builder to go in and make changes to the design, or of course, create a brand new one from scratch if you like. Uh, once you're done making changes, you're gonna wanna make sure and save it and then click the X icon up here at the top to exit out of the template layout editor. My 404 page is using a custom body template here. And since it's a 404 page, there's no need for the global uh, header or footer. Uh, the all post template is using a custom body template as well with the global header and global footer. Let's go ahead and check out what this custom body template looks like. Okay, so here's my post template. You can see it's using dynamic content um, with the Divi Builder to display things like the post title, the featured image for the post, the post date and comment count. And here's my post content module displaying the content of the actual post. Of course, you can make changes to the design and it will 
affect all posts that are assigned this template. This is our category page template because it's been assigned to all of our category pages. Let's go ahead and edit that one to see what it looks like. All right, so here's our category page template. And so here our category page template can be edited using this template layout editor. For example, here's a text module pulling in the post archive title dynamically. And finally, we have a product page template. Let's edit that to see what that one looks like. And here's our product page template. And of course, I can see that the Woo modules are being used on this template to pull in the product information dynamically and a very cool looking design here. And I definitely want to make sure and save my changes. That's very important. And if I go to view one of my blog posts on my site, as you can see, this is what it looked like before, but I'm going to refresh the page with my new theme builder templates in place. And there we are, we have our new global header in place with my post template page here. My, my standard category page template would look something like this, but now that my category page template is in place, and just like that, we have a really nice design for a category page. Uh, here's my default standard product page in Divi. And now that my template's in place, I'm gonna refresh it. And just like that, we got a beautiful product page template in place. And for our 404 page, here's what a standard 404 page would look like. But now with our custom template in place, and now you've got a beautiful 404 template in place. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Please give a thumbs up if you like the video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our blog newsletter, our YouTube channel, and like us on Facebook. That way you don't miss out on any future freebies we'll be throwing your way. We sure do hope that you love the Divi 4.0 release and all those wonderful Divi theme builder packs that we've been releasing. Thanks again for watching. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.